You hear the music, but do you ever wonder what it takes to record a song? I went inside the doors of Denmark Productions to give you an inside look at a recording studio. As more musicians decide to record their music, finding the right studio at a reasonable price becomes a little trickier. This is where Denmark Productions comes in. Owned and operated by Dennis Field, it provides something a little different from the larger studios. Uh, we like to feel like we're very relaxed here. People can talk to us, we can perform because it's very an artistic uh, space that they're dealing with. I mean, in their own minds, they're shedding their souls and their music. And we like to give a very relaxed atmosphere, but very high tech that we can give them exactly the sound they can get from some of the bigger studios in town or throughout Canada. Being a musician himself, Field believes it was a natural progression to do recording for other artists. Basically, I'm a musician at heart and a live sound tech, and as we progressed, we started coming into the studio side of it, and I very much enjoy doing that. There are certain reasons why artists would choose a smaller studio over a larger one. Uh, I like to thank the people. Um, the gear has a big thing to do with, of course, and the sound, but uh, we try to keep it very, like I said, very low-keyed, um, but still giving them suggestions all the time. Uh, we're like uh, another, we've become another band member. The hours seem endless and the music isn't always pleasing to the ear. But Dennis says there is one thing that keeps him going. The people. Uh, I think uh, most musicians at heart are very uh, uh, a type of person that, that really wants to do good with their music and really wants to get their emotion across to the, the people. You know, it, it's, it's the people. The people are wonderful. And the technology go hand in hand, I think. And you've got to learn to, to bridge that because people and the music is what it's all about. The technology is a, a means to the end. You know, you want the person that picks up that uh, CD and puts it in, that they get the same emotion that artist was trying to create. So you might be wondering what all this gear can do. Dennis offers a final demonstration. It sounds. Mm -hmm. Gives it depth. Then I want to different types of reverbs. Very tight. Mm -hmm. Again, it's gated. You hear it go push. Yeah. Push. Yeah. These are all different types here. And if you want. For the flip side, I'm Carla Hage.